I always get question from many of you that how I do my configuration for the packages when I'm working on my smart contract. So here you will find that this is the simple packages and I have in which I have all the packages which I need to develop the smart contract. So here I have defined my project name, the version, the private and here I have couple of script. So this particular will compile my contract and it will generate the API. So if anything wrong in my contract, it's going to throw an error and here I have done the configuration for the network. So currently I'm deploying this particular contract to Polygon, but you can literally change this network to anyone and you have to configure in the hardware config file and every single thing would be absolutely fine. This particular command will delete the node module, the package log and the JSON and the cache because every time you will run this particular script, every time you will do install the packages, this file will be generated automatically with the system. And here I have this node. So when I'm testing in my local environment using hard at, I have to execute this one. So this will initialize the local blockchain. And this is the most required dependency I use all the time for any type of project which I'm working. So I always use Open Zeppelin because why should I write the same contract over and over again? These contracts are well audited and it's on the chain. I use the dev environment because I want to keep all the important environment variable in my env file and here I have the ether package and the hardware package. Hardware is really powerful which allow you to build the script and deploy and do the, all the configuration. Here I have a couple of dev dependency which I need for wallet, ethereum and toolbox and here we have the ethereum wallet. So this is the entire setup which I have when I'm working on my smart contract for the deployment and development.